you for watching and following and subscribing to ASFN Fishing. You guys make it all worth it and I really, really must say the mails we receive to thank us for the demos, all the advice, the shows we do and then you guys getting results by, by following what we do, that makes it all worth it. Thank you very much guys. We actually over 300,000 views a month in January, which is a great achievement. You guys did it with us. And all of you out there that follows ASFN is part of the family. Thank you very much for that. Now remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell button next to it, which then allows you to receive the notifications every time we put on a new video. Okay, now we've received a couple of requests. Now guys, we do look at all the requests. We look at all the comments and emails and stuff we receive. We can't always reply to them, but we do take it in consideration when we plan um, the shoots we're gonna do. And we've had a couple now recently, which I'll cover quickly. And I can't remember your name about the white stem brush. It has been done, it's lined up, and you will see it soon on the species side of things. But today what I would like to do it's that time, the pompano time comes up. Now guys, it's such a lovely fish to catch. All right, so I wanna put it out there to everybody. Find it in your heart to release them. They're awesome fighters. They're really beautiful for photos. And uh, remember to take your photos and send it to grinderelite at asfn.co.za. Now, this is one of the most popular baits for them. And I think we have done some, some sea lice on our channel, but I'm just gonna do, Dean really actually showed me a couple of ways the guys up there do it, and they're the real specialists on Pompano. So all I'm doing, I'm um, bringing this over from Dean and showing you guys how they do it up there. Now, I brought these with, they're a bit frozen. Remember the sea lice, you need a permit, the general bait collecting permit, I think it's an extra 96 rand or something, uh, on your fishing license that you get that, and that's for a year. And I think you can, you're can allowed to, to collect 30 of them. Just make sure on your fishing permit or on the website what is the legal limit. But I think it's about 30 per person. All right. Now I'm taking two years, specifically that bait that uh, Mr. Reddy showed us there. And uh, I'm going to start off. I've got a little 5 or a 6 mustard ringed soy, which is a great hook for them. Um, Jayuk, another bit of advice from Dean Reddy as well up there. And how I would like to, or always like to fish for edibles in most cases, is fishing a jayhook with a grapnel sinker. The reason for that, these are chemically sharpened, and with a jayhook specifically, that grapnel sinker a lot of times will help you in actually hooking the fish. In a lot of cases up north, they're actually fishing their rod in the pipe, in your pension pipe, drag set right so that your rod doesn't disappear into the water, and uh, Pompano will come and grab this bait and set the hook himself uh, by means of that grapnel sinker that helps you out. So very important fishing for edibles, guys. We're in an era where you use nothing else but latex cotton. I've got the medium cotton here for edibles and this size baits, I would actually switch to the thin. The medium is for your medium size baits and if you're really gonna build those big uh, chunky shark baits, you can go to the, the heavy cotton. And uh, <laughs> my favorite knife, I only get to use it when I do bait demo, so I've missed it. Um, still a beautiful knife, this nice weight to it. Not ideal to carry on your side for fishing, but definitely to have it in your bait box or uh, even as your fillet knife. Fantastic knife. All right, so I'm not using foam in this specific bait. I'm just going to use the jayhook. Now, the right way, if you look at your sea lice here in the bottom, it's got a little scoop here. All right, you lift that up, you break that off. Okay, very simple. Then you'll see there's almost a little tunnel there. In the back which you stick your hook in and you follow that tunnel as far down the spine as what you can you stick your hook right through pull it through and turn it around now it will sit there you push it into there's a little gap there you push it into that it sits nice and proud look at that you can hardly see this hook another thing about the ring soy mustache very strong hook but uh, it's very light as well so it allows the movement of your bait in the water without interfering with it too much it's not a heavy hook at all now before you tie this on you see these side plates you'll just shorten them a bit so it's in line and that just helps for the cotton to grip on and doesn't and it doesn't look bad so i'll put a bit of cotton on that for now before we put the other piece 
and you'll see mainly here at the top there's a nice groove for the cotton and you can put here in the middle the the shell of the sea lice is quite rough so you can tie that nicely okay just put enough cotton all right and then fantastic bait you take another one you see that side of it came off when we took it out so i'm just using it for this purpose you take the big shell off and this head plate it's like an armadillo this thing look at that guys that's awesome all the insides awesome uh, i think caroline might not find it that awesome but from a from a looks and a food point of view you can choose now how you stack this onto it either with that out or you can point it in the general rule with that if the water is fairly strong and there's a bit of a wash i'll put it in so it seeps out slower and your bait lasts longer and if the water is quite quiet and calm you're not in rolling working water too much or you want to bait quicker and you're prepared to to change your bite bait more often i'll put it to the outside it gets that flavor out quicker and it might get the bite quicker always to the back of the hook so that your hook stays proud like that and then you can squash it a little bit so the cotton grips in nicely and that's pretty much the bait that no pompano will leave alone and obviously your three spot pompano your kingies your smaller kingies there's so many species of them will grab this bait rather quickly this is a natural food source especially on the north coast of natal um, you'll see a lot of times you'll even see the turtles just on the lip with a tight pushing because a lot of that those sea lice how they work is they come out and when the water is too strong they wash out and they grab wash out and grab you'll see that happen a lot we've actually got a clip i'll put at the end of this um, on how to take them out how they crawl into the sand and uh, then you guys can have a look how they operate but a lot of them will wash over that lip so make no mistake you put this close to a bank a working bank right in front of it behind it depending on the distance but there's nothing wrong if you've got a deep lip to put it just over the lip a meter or two because that's where all those predatory predatory fish will move up and down and patrol to look for the sea lice that washes over that lip um, like I said so many times this time of the year you'll see so many turtles actually feeding on them the crustaceans that wash over uh, down the surf over that lip and your game fish or a lot of predatory fish that feeds on the crustaceans will feed in exactly the same zone so a lot of times you don't have to cast for if there's a working bank put it there and of course stumpies desert this a stumpy cannot swim past that so guys please try that and give us feedback us give us feedback on anything we show you you try it you get results send us the photo and send us some feedbacks take a little bit of time with your photos i actually want to speak to all our ambassadors as well as the anglers out there and the whole asfn family the photos is what you keep especially when you release them or that is what we we keep your memories is to you and that photo having a nice photo of a fish is just awesome and it adds to the professionalism of the sports fishing side of things which obviously we would like people to to see it for what it is thank you guys for subscribing to to our channel and watching this remember to hit the little bell so that you get a notification each time a new video goes up mm -hmm.